disclaimer. In this video, I'm going to be talking about fragrances, duh. But as you can tell by the title, this is the ultimate fragrance tier list, which means I am going to be ranking fragrances. That being said, if I so happen to rank your favorite fragrance, this is the fragrance that you swear by, you shower, you bathe in this fragrance every day. This is your signature scent. Yet, it's near the bottom of my list. Don't toast me. Don't come find me in the street with a bottle of the fragrance. Hit me on the head with the fragrance and then spray both my eyes with the fragrance so I can't see anymore. Now, if that's the case, I'm sure that will hurt a lot. But not only that, since the fragrance sat at the bottom of my list, the fragrance in my eyes will hurt double bad because it smells horrible. <laughs> seriously guys yeah don't take offense to my list to each his own right so just enjoy the video you're going to have fragrances on this list that you might love and that might not be at the top of the list that's fine if you love it wear it but let's stop BSing welcome to the ultimate fragrance tier list one in this brand new series what I'm going to aim to do is I'm going to bring you six fragrances rated from i'm sure you've seen tier list videos from the s tier the god tier the super saiyan tier all the way down to the f tier obviously i'm skipping a grade i think it's e that i'm skipping because that's just unnecessary it's like filler it's like a filler episode and naruto get to the point <laughs> but look if you want me to make more of these videos you gotta smash the like button i gotta hit 7,000 likes on this video for me to drop the next one. Also, links for the fragrances are obviously in the description. You know the deal. But anyway, let's get to it. Now, this first fragrance is going to make some of you guys mad. Some of these shirts going to make some of y'all mad. The first one I'm going to show y'all. <laughs> Again, like I said, don't shoot the messenger here. But the first fragrance that unfortunately makes the F tier is Dior Fahrenheit. Now stop, 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 chill, relax, put down the pitchforks. Let me explain. If you've watched any of my other fragrance videos, you know that I talk about something called a polarizing scent. And a polarizing scent is basically a scent that not everyone can enjoy. It's love, hate. It's either you absolutely love this fragrance, you die by it, you live by it, or you absolutely hate it. And if you even got a whiff of the fragrance, it can ruin your entire day. Unfortunately, even for my Dior Fahrenheit lovers, you guys know this to be true, right? Dior Fahrenheit is a very, very polarizing fragrance. And honestly, the reason for that is definitely the notes and probably one note in particular. Again, if you've watched any of my fragrance videos before, you probably know exactly what note I'm talking about. Leather. Yes, you're exactly right. Leather. Speaking of which, let's let's run down the notes in this fragrance, shall we? In the top notes, we have nutmeg, flower, lavender, cedar, mandarin, orange, bergamot, lemon, hawthorn. The middle notes, violet leaf, nutmeg, cedar, sandalwood, lily of the valley, jasmine, honeysuckle and carnation and unfortunately the base notes tonka bean patchouli amber musk vetiver and leather if you enjoy the smell of leather and if you actually enjoy the smell of gasoline petrol gas then you're probably gonna really enjoy this fragrance now me personally i'm not the biggest fan but i also don't hate it it only made F tier because like I explained a polarizing scent I don't believe is a good scent even if you really like it comment down below if you're do your Fahrenheit stand and you're looking for me just to spray in my eyes this fragrance right here might surprise a few of you in how it made the D rank pause maybe because it's actually a really nice fragrance and I actually really enjoy it. a lot of people really like this fragrance, how it smells. But I'm going to get to why I believe that this fragrance deserves the D rank. Pause, maybe. The fragrance that I'm unfortunately talking about today is CH1 Shock for men. 
you know, the black and green bottle. Now a lot of you might be thinking, raw, like Dwayne, like, that fragrance smells really nice and I really like it. Don't get twisted, I do too. But the main reason why this fragrance pretty much drops from like a, probably a B grade to a D grade. Take a wild guess. Everyone who loves ZH Shock 1 for men, put it in the comments right now. It's too late. I'm about to tell you the longevity. The longevity on this fragrance, unfortunately, is absolutely trash. Poor. I kid you not, you spray this fragrance on for like 14 minutes and 35 seconds. It's over. It's over. You can't smell it no more. No one else can. It's, it's wraps. It's over. Forget about it. Projection and longevity are the main staples of a fragrance. The actual objective scent, the smell of a fragrance, is, is in, a, in, a, in a ballpark of its own. Of course it matters, but you can have the most amazing smelling fragrance of all time. If that bitch only lasts for 20 minutes, it's over. You're just gonna blow your money on the ball, it's peak. Little rundown of the notes, so the top notes, lavender, clementine and cucumber. Nice, very fresh as you can see, very, very fruity, juicy. The middle notes are cardamom, pepper, basil and the base notes, tobacco, amber, patchouli, woodsy notes. Don't know what that means, I guess it's wood and whatever. And musk, this fragrance, even though it's on the D grade, I would actually recommend it to... I, I was asked the other day, someone left a comment and was like, yo, like what fragrance should I wear on my return to school? I would recommend better fragrances, but if this is in your price range, this is a very cheap fragrance, a cheapy. If this is in your price range, I would go for it. You can get a 200 milliliter bottle for a really good price. Really good price. If you're a student with no money, go for it as soon as school starts in September. That's all yours. The only issue is, it's not going to last. The good thing though is, since it doesn't last, you can actually afford to overspray it. You can get a big bottle, 200 mils, and spray the absolute hell out of it. Then you'll still get the girls because you'll smell really nice. But you're, you're, you're literally spraying your money away, unfortunately. So my advice, bro, if you're about to link a girl, let's say you're about to link a fine babes in, in September when you go back to school, you get it on your watch, time it. Let's say you're about to link at 11 by 10.46, you have to have sprayed this on already. Because if you don't, by 11.03, it's gone. <laughs> This fragrance I've actually shown on the channel before. Have I shown the other two? Nope, but this fragrance I actually have a bottle sitting right there. Probably should have brought the bottle over here, but it's too late now. This fragrance right here, again, is a cheapy, a cheap gem. It has a few flaws and I'm gonna get into them, but this fragrance, if you can pick it up, Let's say you're around. No, actually, we're gonna get into that. The fragrance we're talking about is Boss Bottled Intense EDP. It's, it's kind of it's kind of complicated because there's an original Boss Bottled, and there's an EDP of that, and then there's a Boss Bottled Intense, and there's an EDT and an EDP. I'm talking about the Boss Bottled Intense EDP. I probably should have just grabbed the, the damn bottle. Not expensive. Very good. Let me read the notes to see if you like this. The top notes are apple and orange blossom. The middle notes, cinnamon, cloves and geranium. And the base notes, vanilla, sandalwood, cedar and vetiver. That sounds like a very enticing combination. I can tell you that the apple note, this fragrance is actually, in the fragrance community, is actually associated with a warm apple pie, especially if you, if you use this fragrance in the winter. It's a, it's what we call a, I just had a, a mad brain fart just then, but it's actually called a gourmand fragrance. And by gourmand fragrance, it means that the fragrance smells like something edible, like chocolate or coffee apple and oranges gourmand you know the only thing i would say about this fragrance is i don't think that i would actually recommend it 
to someone young someone more mature I'm not talking about very mature I feel like you could get away with this 29 and up if you're young I would I would recommend totally different fragrances you know I don't I don't think that you will enjoy a fragrance like this but here for the people that that sounds very appealing to this longevity is it's decent it's actually better in the winter it's a cheapie as well so you can actually afford to get like a 100 mil bowl and spray it to your heart's content it's not very offensive it's actually quite quite crowd pleasing it's actually very nice honestly funny story i remember walking into work one day and whenever i go into work well i did at this job i always had headphones in and i walked into work and my manager she was talking to me and i had headphones in first of all why do people insist on talking to people when they clearly have headphones in like they can't hear you anyway whatever i don't even want to get into that what i was saying is i had headphones in and she was talking to me took up my headphones she was like oh you smell really nice i was all thanks she walks off i'm like what the hell did i put on today boss bold in 10 cdp see now now we're cooking welcome ladies and gentlemen to the b grade quick quick funny story about this fragrance you know i actually had a fragrance not this particular fragrance but a fragrance that smelled just like it at this point i was so early in my fragrance journey first of all i wasn't really a fragrance connoisseur i was not into fragrances i just bought this fragrance happens to smell exactly like the fragrance i'm about to tell you this was my signature scent for the whole of first year of uni i remember like i'd be chilling in my room and people would come to see me they would say yo Dwayne, you were just in the elevator because we smell your fragrance it, it was my fragrance i didn't really know how strong it was but i would chill in people's rooms and after i would leave they text me like hours later saying wow i can still smell your fragrance in my room and it's very nice Maybe that sold you on the fragrance already. Maybe not. The fragrance I'm talking about today, the B grade, is Pacaraban Invictus, one of the most popular fragrances of all time. It's probably, thank you, stomach, it's probably when people think of a fresh aquatic fragrance, they think Invictus. Invictus has many flankers too. I believe was the latest one. Victory. The one with the V, I think that's actually, I tried it only once, but this was like three years ago. From what I remember, I was actually going to get a bottle of it. That's how nice I thought it was. But anyway, Invictus, now this fragrance right here, I would recommend to a youngin. It can be worn by mature, older gentlemen, but this is a youngin gem, gem. So many words I had to edit, you did not see any that I had to edit all of those out because they would not have worked in that sentence. But if you're a young boy like MBA and you want to smell good, bro, the perfect scent to go back to school with. I know school starts in September, I know this. And if you're looking for a fragrance to go back to school with, it's it's not too costly, but it's definitely not a cheapy. Definitely not maybe around 60 to 70 pounds in the UK maybe around 80 dollars in America something like that all in the description just look for yourself or just go online and find the fragrance right this fragrance is perfect for the school year okay so this is a it's a fresh scent so let's get into the notes real quick so the top notes are C notes aquatic vibe grapefruit and mandarin orange very bright very citrusy very fresh right the middle notes are bay leaf and jasmine and the base notes are ambergris gaelic wood oak moss and patchouli the problem with starting school with this fragrance in september is that it's it's going to be winter it's going to be autumn you know it's not summer and i always said that fresh scents are better in the summer which they are in warm climates i'll tell you what though the fragrance that i got that wasn't invictus that smelled just like invictus and i only found out years later it 
was my signature scent, which means I got it just as I started first year of uni. So, September, yeah. And I bought it in September and it lasted me all the way until like probably like March, April of that same year, like two semesters over. And throughout winter, it worked for me. So this is one of them fragrances that, hey, I am living proof <laughs> that it works in the winter. So you might want to give this a go. Pakarapan Invictus. We are cooking now. Cooking. This fragrance right here is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. This fragrance right here, I remember smelling it for the first time in my life. I used to I used to hear about this fragrance all the time from the fragrance community. And I was like, you know what? I've smelled the the grandfather of this fragrance. This fragrance is actually a flanker. I've smelled the grandfather, the GM, the grandmaster. And this apprentice, you know, if it smells anything like the grandmaster, then it's like, I'm not really feeling it. Don't get it wrong, the grandmaster is like one of the most popular fragrances of all time, right? It's it's amazing. I just wasn't feeling it. I just saw a bottle, I was like, hey, that's the bottle that everyone's talking about. Let me get my nose on it. And boy, did my life change. Ladies and gentlemen, the fragrance that I'm talking about. John Paul Gaultier. Ultramal. Five stars. Projection. Longevity. The only issue is maybe it's not for all occasions because this, ladies and gentlemen, is the bubblegum fragrance. Totally recommend it for youngins. Is this a youngin video? Young MA? Is this a young a video for youngins? Hey, I'm just trying to look out for my young boys. Especially going back to school, it's perfect. This fragrance, I don't want to say it's expensive. I The first fragrance I ever got was like a 40 milliliter bottle. Like 35, 37, 38 pounds. So it's not so it's not too 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 crazy right but man if let's say you have a parent and your parents like your would you like anything for school forget the books <laughs> listen forget the books i don't want no pencils mom i don't want no pens i don't need that thesaurus i don't need the dictionary i don't need none of this get me a bottle of jean paul gaultier ultramar and i'm cool i'm gonna get the best grades because this this is a proper standout fragrance this fragrance is very recommended for clubbing scenes you know but bro like this 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 fragrance will have you the talk of the town ultimate compliment get on you will put compliments like like you're you're a compliment magnet yourself you're a walking compliment magnet like these hey man you smell so nice thanks oh man i want to eat you so do i oh man you're just amazing Thanks. Literally, I'm not even kidding. Ultramal is so, it's so, it's not underrated, I would say, because everyone loves it, right? But it's, it's, when people talk about the best fragrances, I feel like it goes under the radar. Sometimes when you bring up, people are, like, oh yeah, that's good too. Yeah, yeah, Ultramal's good. It's really good. Pear, lavender, mint, bergamot, and lemon in the top notes. Fresh. But it's weird because even though it's a fresh opening i wouldn't really do i have it on i wouldn't really describe it as a fresh scent a freshy it's just amazing anyway the middle notes cinnamon sage and caraway and the base notes black vanilla not just regular vanilla black like me black vanilla amber patchouli and cedar This, this right here has been sitting on my hand for like, I'd say like 20 minutes. So this is pretty much the dry down. This fragrance is, is a miracle. It's close to a masterpiece. The only, the only reason it's even in the, what is this, the A tier? The only reason it's even in the A tier and it's not in the God tier, the S tier, is because it, it, I don't think it can be worn in all occasions. And I think that an 
ST fragrance is the most complete all round fragrance and I think those fragrances can and should be worn in all occasions, signature scent worthy. This clubbing, you know, really young, like I, I wouldn't recommend if you're like 30 wearing this to an office, it's gonna, it's too, it's too, it's too playful, it's too inappropriate let's say. But boy, in a classroom, you will literally be, you might actually get beaten up. You might get rushed because you're getting so much attention from girls that other guys will start to get jealous of you. So just watch out. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the Holy Grail. We've reached the summit, the S, the summit, the S tier, the Super Saiyan tier, the God tier. Ladies and gentlemen, this fragrance is number one on my list for a majority of reasons. Its longevity, its projection, its performance, its actual scent, its complement getting ability. This is, in the last section I said I couldn't really describe it as a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece. One of the greatest scents of all time, period ever made you guys could probably guess it and if you guessed right then comment down below if you've ever made it this far ladies and gentlemen bleu de chanel by chanel my first ever encounter with this fragrance i remember it like it was just yesterday i was 17 years old and about to go into uni right i wasn't about to this was the beginning of the, the last six form years so I just turned 17 and I wanted a job because I knew that at uni I'm gonna need extra money to be able to do the shit I wanted to do right so I needed a job I remember coming into school in like a full a full suit my prom suit from year 11 I wore a full suit and my boy he actually had a bottle of this at 17 he was on he was on game from way from quay i i only hopped onto that to the train like years later it was blue de chanel and i wore it i walked into that interview feeling quite literally like a million bucks i was like yo why am i even here the company should be paying me for my time looking like this smelling like this this fragrance lasted me that entire day it was the first time I had probably ever uh, consciously smelt a very expensive fragrance. All of the fragrances that I've ever worn up until then were body sprays. Um, fragrances that are like, like five pounds, six pounds, like really cheap. This was one of the first conscious wearings of a really expensive fragrance. Obviously walking into this place and that place, you'll probably smell the odd fragrance, but it wasn't conscious. This was conscious and this was amazing. Incredible, but you know, what do I want to even say? I'm just gonna call it the EDT. The EDP is good and the perform's good. Since I smelt the EDT and I'm talking about the EDT, we'll just talk about EDT. Listen to these notes in the top: grapefruit, lemon, mint, and pink pepper. The middle: ginger, nutmeg, jasmine, and iso e super which is like this compound that they made. It smells like wood, I think. And the base, incense, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, labdanum, and white musk. Masterpiece. Chanel have really nice fragrances. This fragrance can be worn year in, year out, across the, across the board, across the spectrum. The only, the only downside to this, if you even want to call it a downside, is the fact that a lot of people have it because it's so good so if you smell like it you might smell like 15 other guys that people know so i don't know if if you want to be that guy maybe you want to be really stand out you know this fragrance will make you stand out though you will smell really nice walking through a mall walking through a supermarket people will stop and stare at you if you don't like the attention, don't bother with this one because this one is a bona fide superstar, masterpiece, mega hitter, big boy fragrance. So yeah, man, this is the first installment of the ultimate fragrance tier list. Like I said, 
this is this is the start of something new like Troy Bolton and Vanessa Hudgens her name was not Vanessa in the movie was it Gabrielle Gabriella if you want more like I said smash the like button I'm gonna drop more regardless but if you've made it this far smash the like button check the links in the description for the fragrances of course and this is this life is about fragrances this is the time to smell good so you're welcome